Today's video is going to be all about clean, fresh and uplifting fragrances. So if that's your type of thing, then please keep on watching. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's the first time you're visiting. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Hayley and I review fragrances. So as I already mentioned in the intro, today's video is going to be all about clean, fresh and uplifting fragrances. Springtime and summertime are the perfect seasons for this category, so there is no better time to bring you this list. So without further ado, let's jump into the first fragrance. The first fragrance is from Killian, and this one is Roses on Ice. Now, I feel like this is an underrated gem, but I know not everyone will agree with me on this one. However, when it comes to this category, this fragrance is perfect. Now, I feel like some people were disappointed in this fragrance because maybe the name would suggest this was going to be a little bit more of a rose prominent fragrance. But instead, this is more of a rose gin and tonic with lots of ice. That is the vibe I get from this. So imagine a rose flavored gin. So you've got juniper and then you've got lots of crushed ice and a slice of cucumber. That is exactly what I am getting from this scent profile. You get the fresh aromatic juniper. This is very cooling and refreshing to my nose. I don't know how something can smell so cooling and I love that effect. This one really, really performs in the summer and cuts through the high heat. But what I love most about this is the cucumber smell. And this is why I know it won't be for everyone because I can't imagine everyone wanting to smell like cucumber. But when I think about a clean, fresh, uplifting, energetic and refreshing type of scent profile, this one fits the bill so perfectly. There's not a lot of rose in here. I get a touch of rose, but like I mentioned, it's more like a rose flavored gin and tonic. So the juniper is definitely more prominent. It's a little bit musky, a little bit airy, and then you definitely pick up a kind of cucumber vibe about it. Imagine wearing this in the summer. It's blazing hot outside and you want something to cut through the heat. This is perfection in my eyes. So I know not everyone will love this, but I truly do. And I feel like it is perfect for this list. So this is Roses on Ice by Killian. Next up is the newest release from Florier Coup, and this one is called Spring River. Now, I just want to read you what it says on the back of the bottle quickly. The water awakes and leaps into a new season, Spring River. That explains this fragrance perfectly to me. So this features notes of petagrain, ylang ylang, rose and vetiver. And I definitely get those notes, but what I get more than that is a soapy kind of fresh out of the shower quality. So imagine you've just had a shower, you come out and you smell all fresh and clean, but that smell lasts all day. So maybe you've bathed in a river with some kind of beautiful floral and vetiver soap. You have to enjoy soapy types of fragrances because it definitely has that kind of underlying DNA, but to me that smells really fresh, clean and invigorating. And that is the total vibes that I get from this fragrance. Now, as I mentioned, I know this won't be for everyone. Some people really don't like those soapy types of fragrances, but I feel like in the spring and the summer, I do crave those types of scent profiles sometimes. So this is the kind of fragrance I would wear fresh out of the shower. You could also layer this with some other fragrances and I have a really good layering combination, which I will get to in one of my other recommendations. But Spring River is my scent of the day. I wanted something light, refreshing and uplifting and this totally fits the vibe. So Spring River is my second recommendation. Next up is Byredo Val d'Afrique. And this is definitely a classic in my collection. One that I reach for more often than not when I want something fresh and clean. In essence, this is a citrus woody scent profile. 
And I find this scent profile really addictive. And this is the fragrance that I think layers perfectly with Spring River. I'm actually not layering them today, but let's go ahead and do so. Oh, it just adds to that freshness, but then adds a woody and citrus vibe to that kind of soapy essence of Spring River. Now, this also has vetiver in it, but it's also got this creamy woodiness and then this blast of citrus in the opening. I know that this fragrance is a big love for a lot of people who like this type of scent profile. And for me, I don't struggle with the longevity of it. It's not going to be something that lasts all day because this scent profile typically does not last all day, but I do get a good six to seven hours wear out of this one. And top tip in terms of layering again, if you want to find a body mist that smells similar to this, the new one from Rare Beauty smells incredibly similar to me. So it makes the perfect layering combination that you can spray in your hair all over your clothes and help with the longevity of the fragrance. But if you are looking for an invigorating, uplifting, fresh and clean fragrance, then Balder Freak is such a perfect one. Probably one of my favorites in my entire collection in this category. I would highly recommend it. And it's actually my favorite from Byredo 2. Next up is Wulong Cha by Nishane. Now, if you want a fresh fragrance that lasts all day and also has a really big scent trail, this is the one that you will want to try. This is a fresh fragrance that actually has amazing performance. When my husband wears this one, he only roughly does about three sprays. He is definitely an undersprayer, but I can smell him in another room. So yeah, this is definitely a freshie that lasts. This packs a punch. This is one of my favorite fresh tea-based fragrances. So as the name suggests, this has tea in it. And you definitely pick that up, but then it has that blast of citrus and I'm picking up bergamot and lemon but sweetened it's a little bit musky too there's a woody dry down but what I mostly get from this is a sweetened tea and it's a green tea slash black tea type of vibe with a burst of freshness in the opening this is another one like Baldefreak that is one of my favorite fresh fragrances in my entire collection. One that I would highly recommend if you are looking for a citrus tea fragrance that lasts all day. This would probably be my top recommendation for that category. So if tea is your type of thing, then definitely check out Wulong Cha because I feel like this is unbeatable when it comes to this type of scent profile but something that also has amazing longevity. Next up is Sun Bleached by Unui Nomad. This is the perfect cottony, fresh, sea breeze type of fragrance that's a little bit musky too. This smells like citrus, musks, salt, and a sea breeze, but it's not like a marine quality. This is more just like a fresh breeze of air that has a salty vibe in it. It reminds me of a crisp white linen shirt. It has some light white florals throughout it, yet at the same time, it's fresh and it's musky. It really is the perfect beachy type of scent profile, but for those of you that like a more musky, fresh scent instead of a more tropical kind of coconut fruity scent, this I guess would be a beachy scent for those of you that like the more clean and fresh aesthetic. Such a beautiful scent profile. As I mentioned, it's got this kind of salty, musky quality about it, yet at the same time, there are light florals, there's a freshness. And this is a little bit more affordable than some of my other recommendations in this video. Unui Nomad does a really great job at offering different size formats. You can also buy their fragrances without the outer packaging, which helps you to save a little bit more money. But yeah, Sun Bleached is such a fantastic, musky, summery beach type of scent profile. Next up is Bossa by Granado. Now this is also a beachy, salty type of scent profile, but it does differ from Sun Bleached, which is the fragrance I mentioned before. Whilst Sun Bleached is more of a cottony, linen, musky type of scent profile, Bossa is more of a salty, creamy vanilla. 
Now there's no vanilla listed in here, but I definitely pick up a little bit of vanilla. I don't know why. And then there's some creamy cashmere in the base. Bossa also features coconut. Now it's not a kind of suntan lotion, creamy coconut note, but it's very, very fresh. There's also some pettigrain in the opening, which adds a green touch and some mandarin, which adds a blast of citrus. But I definitely get a huge dose of salty, almost woodiness coming from this. Now you have frangipani and tiare flower, which gives a kind of tropical beachy feel. But again, this isn't suntan lotion vibes. This is definitely more of a natural beachy feel. And if you like fragrances similar to Wood Sage and Sea Salt by Jo Malone, but want something with better longevity that smells a little bit more natural and something that packs more of a punch, then definitely try out Bossa. Granado is a brand that's been around for years and years, and I would highly recommend checking this out. I also have the diffuser of this, and I also use the hand cream and the hand wash in my kitchen. And I just love this scent profile so much. It's super fresh, clean, uplifting, and I just think it's spectacular. So if you're looking for a clean, fresh fragrance that's a little bit beachy, or it smells like the fresh air walking along the beach, then definitely check out Bossa by Coronado. So those were all of the fragrances that I wanted to recommend in today's video. As per usual, I could have included a lot more fragrances within this list, but I curated it down to the ones that I felt most appropriate to feature today. But what I want to know is what fragrances would you recommend that give off those clean and fresh vibes? Please do let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear your recommendations. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a pleasure as always. I hope to see you in a future video to come. Thank you so much and goodbye.